नमस्ते वेलकम टू अर्थनीति वन यू आर आस्ट मी अ क्वेश्चन दैट वाइल इन्वेस्टिंग इन अ म्यूचुअल फंड इज इट प्रिफर्ड टू इन्वेस्ट ओनली इन एन एफ ओज रादर दैन इन्वेस्टिंग इन एक्जिस्टिंग फंड नाउ सच अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज वेरी कॉमन वेर पीपल आर ऑफ द ओपिनियन दैट इन्वेस्टिंग इन एन एफ ओ इज बेटर दैन इन्वेस्टिंग इन एन एक्जिस्टिंग फंड वाई बिकॉज म्यूचुअल फंड यूनिट्स आर अवेलेबल एट रुपीज टेन many people also believe that mutual fund nfo and an equity ipo are similar there is no difference between them now to answer this to check whether these beliefs are right or whether the viewers me or investors need to have a different understanding while investing in mutual funds we will answer three questions in this video the first question is we will see whether a uh, mutual fund nfo and an equity ipo are one and the same secondly we will check whether investing in nfo is better than investing in existing funds and thirdly we will check whether it is a re, uh, does it really matter that nfo helps create long term value for investors now to answer the first question are mutual fund nfos similar to equity ipos well the uh, answer to this is a big no the mutual fund nfo and equity ipos are two different things in an equity ipo the uh, the limit up to which the company can accept money is fixed the uh, the what can we say the ipo is fixed to a certain amount in case of an nfo there is no such upper limit mutual funds can accept unlimited amount of uh, applications for its nfo secondly the price of equity shares which is normally a range is decided at the time of nfo uh, at the time of ipo i'm sorry and when the units uh, when the shares are listed they are listed at a price which is based on demand and supply in case of a mutual fund nfo the price is always fixed at rupees 10 no matter the demand or the unlimited supply of funds correct thirdly you know equity ipo there are different categorizations on the basis of which shares are allotted like retail investors hnis institutional investors there are separate quotas uh, for each category retail investors are generally offered shares at a discounted price in case of a mutual fund nfo no such categorization exists and all kinds of investors all categories of investors get units at rupees 10 each so these are the basic differences between an ipo and a nfo now to answer the second question is it better to invest in ipo rather than an existing fund here you need to understand if you are investing in a equity fund and if you are investing in a debt fund now in case of an equity fund what happens is it does not matter whether you are uh, investing your money say at a price level of rupees 10 or in an existing fund say at a price level of rupees 50 what matters is the timing at which you are investing your funds in the market when you invest in an equity mutual funds the funds are invested in stocks in the stock market now the level at which this investment happens is what decides the returns on your investment when you invest your money at a time say when the shares in the markets are overpriced your returns are going to be on a lower side alternatively when you invest when the market is fairly priced when the stocks are underpriced then you have a high chance of earning high returns correct see normally how do you check this you check the uh, index pe ratio say the nifty pe ratio for example if you historically see the ratio it ranges uh, between 10 to 20% today if you see the ratio it stands at 21% at around 21% so which means stocks are on a higher valuation side you when you invest in the market when the pe ratio is between that range nearing to rupee to 10% that is the time when you have chances of earning better returns on your investment 
when you enter the market when the stocks are already priced at a higher side then your returns uh, like the uh, the, the the returns that would be generated on your investments would also be affected in that manner so when you invest in an equity mutual fund it is immaterial whether you are investing at rupees 10 face value or at rupees 50 nav what matters is the valuation of the underlying investments which are stocks uh, and the time at which you are investing in them so that is the case for equity funds in case of debt funds what happens is debt funds normally invest in low volatile low risk securities like say government bonds corporate bonds so people normally prefer to invest in debt funds at the time of nfo period right so that answers our second question now to go to go on to the third question to check whether nfo really helps to create long term value for investors now here uh, what is normally seen is that mutual fund houses come up with nfos normally when the markets are at its peak or during a bull run why because that is the time when more people are attracted to take advantage of uh, higher valuations in the market now market is not static it uh, whatever goes up comes down it has cyclical trends correct so when you are investing at a peak and the market enters a bear run for you to recover from those losses and come at par at the level of uh, at which you have invested your money will take a long time but na- normally that what is seen is mutual fund houses uh, come up with nfos or thematic funds especially in sectors which are seeing a boom or when the uh, indices are uh, have hit all time highs that is the time when new nfo offers hit the market but that is not always the right time to invest your money in the market why because a boom or a bull run is always followed by a bear run and which goes back to a bull run correct it is cyclical in nature so not always uh, ideal to enter when the market is at its peak it is always ideal to enter when the market is low and then take advantage of the next bull run correct so uh, nfos investing in nfos is beneficial is a myth please uh, do your research before you think of investing in a mutual fund nfo what kind of a mutual fund it is and uh, the uh, the price uh, valuations in the market and uh, whether you will benefit from the valuations Uh, whether you will benefit from the nfo or uh, by investing in an existing fund most of the times uh, when you invest in an existing fund what happens is there is a track record of the fund's performance well it is commonly said that historical performance does not guarantee future returns but it at least helps you understand how the mutual fund has performed in the various previous cycles in the market and it gives you a fair idea of how it will perform in the future correct so that track record is not available with uh, nfos where uh, uh, existing funds have that to their advantage secondly also consider the high costs that mutual fund houses have to incur to come up with nfos yeah costs like uh, documentation registration advertising commission to various uh, registrars and transfer agents all these costs are finally recovered from the investors and they affect the returns on the investments so nfos are uh, when it comes to cost effectiveness nfos are uh, definitely have a disadvantage as compared to existing mutual funds so it is not always advisable to invest in mutual funds through nfos rather investing in existing mutual funds has its uh, added advantages over investing in nfos now from this short video i hope that uh, uh, i have answered the query of this particular viewer in case you have any such queries please feel free to comment below the video ask me questions it helps me uh, get new uh, get ideas to make new videos and uh, interact with you all i look forward to them 
your comments and questions are more than welcome so uh, that's it in this video stay safe until next time see you in the next video